This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Hello and welcome to Hit or Glitch, a podcast where we explore the multiverse of geek culture and experiment with rules and systems. This season we are exploring a galaxy far, far away. Hey, welcome back. On the last supersized episode, our band escaped the city and picked up the surveyors of the Alderanian Shoals. With half the crew incapacitated, they attempted to leave the planet, only for their red alert to sound. In this episode, we find out if they can handle this latest threat. Oh yeah, we got this. A definite possibility, yeah, I think we got this. <laughs> or we all just die. <laughs> I'll be sleeping if you need me. Yep. <laughs> In the med bay. I call it all tri-laser turret. <laughs> Luckily, I think it's, there's it's enough room a dual for everybody. Is it a dually? Yeah, we had, we had to drop it off to get some other things. Oh, well, I'm still going to blow something up. Right. That's what I do. No, when we were first pitching it, it was like a quad. Remember, I carry thermal detonators. <laughs> a lot of civilians found that out the hard way. Yeah, that'll be a fun conversation when that happens. Yeah, we will be talking. If you ever wake up. <laughs> <laughs> and we will have our first PvP kill. <laughs> All right, so, as I said, last time we left off, the red alert was sounding as you guys were leaving the atmosphere. The ship jukes hard and feels like she's putting it into a corkscrew. Up, You were down by the tractor beam. Yeah, I went to the tractor beam which is in the cargo bay. The lights indicating a low-pressure environment start flashing. Meaning that the hangar bay is... Oh, oh yes. <laughs> that hole There's was never filled. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. Uh, Game over. Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can I uh, close that section of the ship off? Yes. The cargo bay is isolatable from the rest of the ship. I'll start with that, and then I'll start looking around for... Uh, a whole breach patch? Well, that and something to breathe, a <laughs> breathing apparatus, so that I can do so. Well, if you remember, I believe that you took some... You took a breathing apparatus from the Corvette. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right, yeah. So I'll uh, go ahead and put that back on, and, uh, well, first seal the, that section of the ship, then put that on. All right, I'm going to need a series of rolls from you then. Okay. First, Remember a... to adjust your own mask before helping a child. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, there aren't any children of that. Going to need a dexterity athletics test. And then a dexterity crafts. So I got nothing on the dexterity athletics. Okay. Classy. Was that the, like move fast enough to get the door shut? Or what? No, this is to how well you're going to be able to keep your feet during all of this. Oh. Right. Uh, would climbing apply? Yeah. Alright, I'll roll an extra die and hope for the best. Yes! It's a ten. <laughs> <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright. For the win. Your claws save you. Yep. So yeah, your <laughs> yeah. claws sliding across the bulkhead as you're climbing around trying to fix this. Go ahead and make me a dex crafts roll. Sorry, I'm not down there to help with that one. Give me a perception test. A perception test? Yes. Because you went up to the turret. So. I sure did. Uh, that'll be three on the crafts test. Okay. You need, you're going to need two more successes to seal the breach. Oh, good. Do you want me to roll I'm again? assuming my helmet helps me out in this situation. Yes. Four. All right. Despite all the spinning that she's doing, <laughs> you do manage to crane your neck in the right spot and use the sensors from the ship that's coming into the gunnery station. And you identify the ship as one of the ships that was docked with you guys at the university. Oh, uh, okay. It so is a boxy affair, but looks fairly new. Not for long. <laughs> Can I gauge its intent? Like, is it is it coming in on us? Uh, you do not have that sensor data. Like, yours is basically tracking info and stuff like that. Okay. You don't have a status of the ship. Well, does he see, like, red or green lines <laughs> shooting past the ship? No. 
Okay, well, that's good at least. However, it does appear to be on an intercept course. Oh, an intercept course. And I got uh, four successes on the second crash roll. You sealed the breach. Right on. And, and pretty quick, too. Yeah. Um, well, this is really important. <laughs> I might not have willpower left, but this is kind of my job on this ship. I'm going to wait for word from the captain, see what she wants me to do. Okay. There's a tense moment where you sort of have them in your sights. You have a bead on them. You're thinking about pulling the trigger. You don't know what's going to happen. And then your turret goes dead. Son of a... Are, we, are the engines still working? Mm -hmm. And she has leveled out her course. When I'm finishing slapping this patch on and all of a sudden we stop maneuvering, come in and ask what's going on. Zidane responds to you. He says, I'm negotiating. Well, that's nice. A few minutes go by. And then Zidane comes on the, ra the comms. He says, I need what we got from that ship. You mean the crew members? I mean the stuff... That you went in for. So the holocron. Yeah. So our paycheck. Yeah. And in return we get... To leave without fighting it. Is there a nearby, like, window I can look out and see what this <laughs> ship is? Like, could I get a better idea of its uh, capabilities? Not nearby, no. There's a nice opening in the cargo bay, though, I hear. Mm. <laughs> no, no, I fixed that. <laughs> Although there are the big doors. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're currently in the air. Yes. Well, I can just jump in the tractor you, beam turret, and I can see from yes. there. Yes, you'll have the sensor telemetry there, yeah. All right, yeah, I'm going to hop in there. I'm not, like, plugging in or anything, but I'm going to look over and see what the other ship is. Okay. It's about uh, 30 meters long, about 15 meters wide, and it's almost, uh, almost a solid cube. It seems hmm. to be... Well, a rectangular prison, anyway. Yeah. So, my next question is, are we hovering? Like, is there... No, you guys, but at this point, you've, you're out of the atmosphere. So we're in space. Yes. We're, kind of we're not out of the gravity well yet, but are we still traveling in a straight line towards the edge of the gravity well? No, actually. No. She's changed course to meet them. Looks like you guys are going to... You are on an intercept course for an orbit. Okay. So this this ship is really not any that much bigger than ours, if any. No. Like maybe In fact, it, it... I think it might be... It's smaller than yours, dimensions-wise. Hmm. Okay. So, my question is, does my armor have magnetic boots? Stormtrooper armor? No. no. Do we have a set of magnetic boots anywhere for repairs on the ship in space? No. Why? What do you want to do on the surface of the ship? Don't ask questions <laughs> you don't <laughs> want the answer to. <laughs> well, you know, uh, it works in Battlestar Galactica throwing nukes back and forth, so... <laughs> Usually they're not doing them by hand. <laughs> I would just like to mention I am unconscious at this moment, but you have concussion missiles! Hello! Controlled by the pilot, who is currently doing whatever Zidane tells her to do. I'm going to come walking out of the turret. I'm yeah. going to go up to the cockpit, and I'm going to ask It's locked. It. Yeah, that's not a hard fix. No, it's not. Not for me. Well, I'm right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> so. the, 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 the rescued people that you guys have on your ship, the Gand is sort of peeking his head out into the corridor. And looking confusedly at you guys, because <laughs> both of you sort of stormed into the corridor, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and now are like stare like. <clears throat> I'll let you say the first thing. Go for it. They can unlock the door, or I blow us to hell. <laughs> that's 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 what I I'm saying. <laughs> I look over at you, <laughs> and you can, despite through the helmet, you can still tell that it's like a. Why would you do that? And then I'm just going to reach up grab the door, and rip it open. Uh, what's your strength? Six. And I've got claws. I can find a purchase. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you can't do it. Not I'm just trying to... Uh, I'm I mean, not we saying we I can't We didn't pay for security doors either. on this thing. This is true. You don't have the upgraded bulkheads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, during this time that he's ripping the door open, I am drawing my blaster. 
It's okay. Zidan and an old woman. We don't need a blaster. He's, you can't see him. You're, and I'm very angry. And, and, and watch out for his, so that he doesn't affect you. So have a breath mask on so you aren't affected by his hormone thing. I already have it on. And I'm wearing a bone yeah. super helmet. <laughs> I'll go ahead and make me a strength stamina roll. Where's the tweet like in all that? In her quarters. Just chilling? Yeah. She's not in, in any way pissed off about this just like we are? Not really. I got three. She's in the hallway. She's come out to the hallway as you guys are uh, trying to open it. Yeah. yeah. You're like... What are you going to do? So, uh, describe the room to me so that I know exactly what I'm going to do. You're exactly going to throw a grenade in the room. We know you. <laughs> <laughs> Gail is sitting in his pilot's chair. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a half moon. More of a, like a saddle, I kind of think. Yeah, yeah. And Zidane is at the sensors and communications console. His eyes still swollen shut. Here's, here's an out of character um, what basically I'm going to do, and if you couldn't tell from the beginning, this is probably going to be class A mutiny. <laughs> The problem is the captain is unconscious right now, so you can't technically be mutinying against the captain. Oh, well then good. I don't feel as bad when I'm going to probably murder that one who's sitting on communications. Or... No, we don't want to kill that. Out of character. But anyway. <laughs> in character, he's probably going to get murdered. So, well, mm -hmm. so are you rushing in? No, I'm not rushing in. He has now opened the door. I'm walking in with a blaster pistol on the pilot, and I'm looking at him and demanding an explanation. And I want a full-purpose explanation. I don't want... So we don't have to fight anybody. Just because you've had your ass whooped all day doesn't mean that okay. I'm going to give up my paycheck right now. She looks confused and terrified. No doubt. And as Zidane turns, he's got his holdout blaster leveled at you. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you don't know who hired us. I do. And there's no way I'm giving them that Jedi shit. I didn't understand what it meant before. I do now. So then you're going to explain who hired us. And you're going to tell me why they don't deserve the Jedi shit. And then you're going to find me a fucking paycheck. So who hired us? He looks at the communications console. Have you ever heard of the Knights of Ren? Yeah. Them. So you're having a... Uh, a moral problem here? I'm going to be honest. I never believed in the Force and all that hokum. I thought it was just some old wives' tales. They put out a stupid amount of money on offer. Well, in my opinion, it was stupid. Now I understand. This stuff has real power, and I'm not giving it to them. So who are you because to give it to? Because those guys down there aren't even close to being as twisted as the Knights of Ren, and they were still able to do this. He indicates his face. Mm -hmm. Now those guys out there, well, they came here to destroy that stuff. And who is that? The Vichy Veritas. He flips a switch, never taking his, the pistol off of you. He reaches over and flips a switch. And he's like, Mr. Gillette, please explain to my friend what you told me. Well, you see, and it's the tall guy from the bar, the cycle of war has to end. And the only way that's going to end is if we wipe out all trace of the Force. Jedi, Sith, all of it. Now, if it's a paycheck you're worried about, that's exactly what he's worried about, like I told you. We can compensate you. The same amount? Well, maybe a little less. But you'll be doing the galaxy a service. I'll make a motion towards, uh, to do the, like, kill the line kind of some signal. Okay. Give me a wit's composure roll. Uh, two. You see that Zidane goes to mute, quote-unquote, yeah. the line, but he doesn't actually flip the switch. <laughs> uh, look at Zidane and be like, is there a chance that they could destroy us either way? Maybe they're just playing us and are just going to destroy us either way. What is that ship capable of? No, I don't think they'll do that. He goes to turn it back on. You're not going to... 
my friends here want to know if you're going to destroy us anyway. Of course not. We're in, we're out, we don't want to hurt anybody. But we will, we do want to eliminate the, those artifacts as a threat. And we are willing to engage in violence if necessary. I'm going to lower my weapon from the pilot. Okay. And I'm going to keep it out, but I'm going to put it at my side. Did we ever get, like, the amount we were going to get paid for this mission, specifically? Nobody's been paid yet. Right, I know, but did we get, like, what the actual value of this mission was supposed to be? Oh, yeah, no, we never talked, talked turkey about terms. Yeah, I guess I, I think, is the only one that would know. Mm -hmm. And since we're being told we're going to be compensated a little bit less, my my personal thing is it's no longer about a paycheck. Now I'm having moral qualms. Mm. Don't well, you have to the have Empire's morals? never been nice to Wookiees. I don't have those kind of morals, but I do have, I, as I'd like to put it, a, a soft spot for the arts and history. Uh, is there any chance that I can wake up now? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not. No, not yet. Uh, look at the side down. Well, not that I haven't really looked away specifically, but negotiated well, and then might agree. Well, Richard, uh, you can tell my friends know they have something valuable. I told you how much your enemies were willing to pay for it, and I understand you're not a government with hundreds of systems under your belt, but I think we're willing to cut a deal for the good of the galaxy. Well, that's good, that's good. Um, I'll tell you what. Uh, let me confer with uh, the seer, and I'll get back to you in a minute. Just uh, let's stay on our current course. All right. And he closes the channel. I look at the pilot and ask what they were firing on us with. Oh, nothing. He killed my turret from inside. No. What I mean is, why all the maneuvering? Oh, um, well, the last ship that was here, they were against you guys. I was just trying to make sure that if they wanted to fire at us, they wouldn't have a clear line. And then Zidon got on the comms with them. Understood. Have you received a readout of their ship? Uh, yeah. She punches it up. I can give you two pieces of information. Weapons? And shields. Okay. It has ion cannons, uh, blaster cannons, and it looks like a bomb rack. Hmm. And I believe its shields are lighter than yours. Zidane still got his sold out pistol on me? Mm hmm. Well, no. Now it's sort of pointed at a space between the two of you. The funny thing is, I could probably just walk up and eat that pistol. <laughs> and not really care. I kind of wishing you would. <laughs> so that I can just blast him right in the face and we leave and call it done. They can chase us all they want. The thing is, if you kill him, you don't have access to your buyer. Who cares? I, I'd rather give it to... The New Galactic Republic. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think the Galactic Republic's any better than... Yeah, and doesn't, doesn't uh, Biva have some connection with the Republic? Well, that's the whole thing, is I, I kind of want to step away and go speak to Biva. Well, this is a good opportunity to do so. Yeah, so why don't you watch the idiot who tried to lock us out of our own captain's quarters, and I'm going to go talk to... or our own command deck, and I'm going to go talk to Biva. All right. She's still in the hallway staring at us like we're retarded. Uh, she's actually talking to the survivors that you guys picked up. Perfect. I'm literally going to walk through in stride and right past her and say I need to talk to you and we're going to go to a place that's out of earshot. She's like, see, nothing to worry about. She pats the gand on the top of his head and he sort of shakes it. And uh, she follows you. The doctor has a hand on each of your crew members that are in the bunks, the medical bunks. And uh, 
he he's just sort of he looks concerned about them or about what's going on what's going on wow everything's fine everything is fine people just a little miscommunication we're trying to make sure that everybody gets home to their family safely and that we get paid <laughs> I didn't mention that part. <laughs> now, what do you want me to roll to calm them down? Persuasion. Present. Manipulation. And you'll get a plus two for Viva's previous efforts. Three. There you go. All right. So everybody's calmed down. Fine. We're all fine here. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Boring conversation, anyway. All right. We're so, going to be like a couple of Fonzies. What's Fonzie like? <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to sit down with Biva. Uh you guys are in a refresher. Okay. Eh, it's pretty you want it somewhere pretty private. Intimate. Yes. <laughs> so have you heard did you hear the conversation? Do you hear, do you know what's going on? Uh no, I didn't hear what was said once you guys got into the cockpit. I came right back here to try to keep them away. So Zidane has decided that he is going to give up the artifact that we've collected for it to be destroyed for a less of a paycheck than what we were originally going to receive. Do you know anything about our buyer? Only that they're connected to the First Order. The Knights Run? Her skin goes paler than it already is, if that's possible. That's who's, who's hired us to find this artifact. Zidane doesn't want to give it to them. He'd rather have it destroyed. And I believe that Captain Gillette has manipulated him into believing that that's the proper course of action. That all Force objects and all traces in history of Jedi and, and Sith should be destroyed. She, her brow furrows and her leku twitches a little bit. I see we're of a similar mind. I can see now, by how pale your skin has gotten, that you don't hold a lot of love for the First Order. But tell me, what ties may you have to the New Republic? Wit's empathy. Uh, she always gets me on this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... Minus two. Oh, bitch. <laughs> well, I don't know if you have any willpower left, but mine's all gone. I'm willpowering it up right now. <laughs> I'm going to do anything to save this artifact, including killing our face and finding a way to get it to the Republic. You won't need to kill him. Sure. I hope not. <laughs> Look, when I pick him up with one hand, hold him to the ceiling, and he starts wetting his pants, that's probably the end of things. Eight, nine, and ten are successes, right? Yep. Okay, so four. Okay. You get that she's struggling with the decision to actually tell you anything and how much to tell you. She's like, I have no specific ties with the Republic, per se, but I have done some work for the Resistance. So we could get it to somebody in the Resistance who could use this for good. Yes, I think so. They probably aren't going to be able to pay us any more or less than this guy outside, though. It's At this point, it, it may not even be a matter of being paid. It's a matter of preserving history. Why do you care about history? Yeah, you do tend to blow things up. I mean, that does make things into history. <laughs> Let, <laughs> let's, let's take a look at how the circle of life works, and if you take something out of the circle of life and how much it shit up. I kind of like to not take something out of the circle of life right now and not cause complete and total chaos where I have to use my grenades more often than I really want to. Could be he's having some conscience. I am having a conscience matter, all right? For I, blowing up those people. I've done, <laughs> I've done my fair share of killing folks. May or may not have my dad be included. He has some red in his ledger. He wants to mark it out. <laughs> That'd be nice. And the judgmental He's just attitude. trying to be good to get in the Twi'leks pants. Let's be <laughs> honest. Hey, there's no need to justify my actions here, ladies. <laughs> He's unconscious, you're unconscious, and you're in the other room. <laughs> okay, let's say we do this. And uh, her hand sneaks into the small of your back. I'm not playing that game. 
She reaches up to take off your helmet. Not playing that game. You stop her? Yep. Okay. Not playing that game right now. We've got more important pressing matters than that game right now. You're going to be my hero? And what if the other people don't want to work with the resistance? What are we going to do then? All right. Then I'm no better, we're no better than Zidane right now. I want to see your mo. Can I check your motivation right now? Sure. What do I got to roll? With empathy. Minus two. Damn roll. Minus the one that I lost. So give me this one. Wait. Yeah, that's a nine. Three. Yeah, you get that she's definitely trying to play you in some way. You probably you don't know exactly what that is. But she's definitely trying to uh, manipulate your emotions in a particular manner, for sure. Okay. But she does genuinely want to help the resistance. And she does want to hold on to those artifacts. So I'm going to look her dead in the eye and I'm going to say, cut the shit, shoot straight, and if this is what we're going to do, then let's just get everybody on board and get the hell out of here. Okay. And we're going to pop my helmet back on by smacking it on top of my head. And then as I'm walking out of the refresher, I'm going to say, if you try to pull that shit with me again, you're not going to like the outcome. And then I'm going to pull a little smoke grenade out and toss it without actually opening it or pulling the pin or anything and just keep walking. Okay. She's laughing as she picks it up. I know. Now, I'm going to go over... And I'm going to have a conversation with our Wookiee friend here. And I'm going to pull him down the hallway from the cockpit, but I still want to be able to see into the cockpit. Viva goes into the cockpit. She follows you up there. Perfect. Does she have on a, a something to protect her from the falling? No. I'm not worried about that right now. You're not worried about it right now. I know that if I have to execute the falling... She's going to come right back to our side on the matter. Uh, well, my side on the matter. I'm trying to bring you over to our side. <laughs> Grawlock, we have three options here. We get paid copious amounts of money to do something real evil. We get paid a marginable amount of money to possibly have drastic implications later. Or we get paid a little bit of money, but we do something that might be for the good of the galaxy. So you're saying... Her contacts pay the least. Probably. But they do the most good with the information. What kind of good? They probably wouldn't hurt as many people with it. Well, I'm not too fond of people dictating terms to us. And those folks outside, they might have come around with Zidane's help. But they started out dictating terms to us. And I'm not too fond of that. And if we turn against Zidane... And Zaidan isn't likely to be taking us to his contact. So, I think that leaves us with plan C. Kachunk! There's a reverberation as the ships make contact. And I pull out my uh, repeating blaster and start walking towards the uh, airlock. <laughs> Can I wake up now? <laughs> nope. <laughs> How about me? Nope, it hasn't been an hour yet. So I'm going to walk over to Biva. What is she doing? She appears, like when you come in, she's like administering to Zidane's wounds. And her leku is like twirling between his legs. Hmm. Either that was really fast or she's still playing people. I'm engaging tension again. <laughs> <laughs> you going to use your last willpower? No, I'm not using willpower for this one. Nice. And that was with a minus two, right? I'm at three again. Yeah, she's definitely playing him. Give me a wit's composure roll. <laughs> helmet which can be its own danger. Situation? Hmm? Does a helmet help me out in this situation? Uh, yeah. Three. All right. You notice that while she's doing this, his gun's energy clip is disengaged. And she's also, like, working the, the console surreptitiously with her other hand. <laughs> I love this woman. 
<laughs> Little did we realize the resistance has put a good agent on us. <laughs> <laughs> so would I know if she's turned my turret back on mine without going back over to my turret? Not without going to the yeah. turret, yeah. Where the, the turret's kind of irrelevant when they're already attached to us. Yeah, but if we don't open the airlock door and I just so happen to fire on the airlock connector to their ship? Depends on how they're attaching, which is yeah, the big Yeah, that's question. what I'm wondering too. How is the attachment point here? Well, you don't have eyes on it. You don't know. I do. Well, yeah, but you can't get me on a comm. All right. Yes, I can. Not that one that everybody can't hear. Well, <laughs> you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Speaking of which. Wait, doesn't the Wookiee have a comm? Yes. And right. I have a comm in the helmet. Yes. Can we have a private conversation? Give me a computer, uh, intelligence computer. Both of us or yep. just me? Yeah, intelligence computer there, Wookiee boy. <laughs> oh boy, I'm really good at this one. Chat star. It's a success. <laughs> <laughs> Four. All right, you secure your line of communication to him. As you're walking to the turret? No, I'm, I'm going to stay just... right there in the cockpit. Okay. Just where they can't hear, and I'm going to ask him what the connection point looks like. And if the turret would be able to reach it. Wits crafts. I am, however, good at that. Channel beeps, and Zidane opens it. Uh, five. Damn. Yeah, all right. That was a good roll. I mean, I mean, I don't have that big of a dice pool. <laughs> uh, well, Zidane, I've got 10,000 credits. If you can give us permission to come aboard and collect those items. I'm going to say, hold on. We haven't finished having our conversation. Give us another minute. It's a, a top access for you guys. Okay. And it looks like side access for them. So this is like they're actually basically flush with our ship rather than like a docking ring or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So the turret... Uh, the hit. turret is basically touch, almost touching their ship. Yeah. It's only it's a, a couple of meters a, away. Yeah. It's a topside turret. Yeah. And I could hit their connection point. And blow a hole in your own ship. Yeah. I mean, you could actually probably hit them somewhere else, like the cockpit, and create a reverse <laughs> vacuum kind of thing, pull them back. Uh, I was Better thinking the that. cockpit. I legitimately was thinking I'm going to turn that weapon on the cockpit. In a position where you could get a line, there might be part of the ship in the way. But either way, we don't really need to do that. Can I get a line on the cockpit, GM? You're not in the turret. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move to the turret. You're at the thing, yeah. and uh, it turns green. Okay, so there's a positive connection. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I could definitely uh, Spartan this if I wanted to. <laughs> but uh, hmm. I don't really feel the need to kill all these guys. Except that I'm just not liking how they've dictated terms to us. It's a good thing you have your helmet on. Because they're, the flare of their ion engines is like right in your face. So I could shut down their engines. But not that guy. If you shot that, you do disable them, then we can just run or circle around them and kill them. See, I'm not looking to do. I'm not looking to kill if I don't have to kill at this point. The other side opens. Yeah. And there's a human, like as tall as you are. Right. On the other side. And he's holding up a bag. And he reaches inside the bag. And for a moment, I'm sure your finger pushes on the trigger. Well, I mean, our side's still shut. Uh. And he lifts up a card stick. Kind yep. of and he starts tapping on the window. <laughs> I would like to inform Zidane that we've decided to renegotiate. You hear blaster fire. Well, Is my turret online? No. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> can my stormtrooper... Can my stormtrooper... Um, it is a intelligence crafts roll if you want to try to hardwire it. And get around it. Well, no. What I'm wondering right now is, is my stormtrooper armor space worthy? No. no. That's why they have a different style of armor for yeah. space troopers. 
basically the next suit. Did you? Can I tell what the sound of the blaster? Like, can I tell by the it sound? It came from the cockpit. Yeah, but can I tell by the sound what the blaster was? Wits firearms. Does my helmet help me with the perception of hearing? It would, but the the distance is gonna penalize you. So we'll call it even. This would be a really great time to have that like technophile or whatever specialty, you know. Yeah. Quality for firearms. Two. I believe she has one. No, oh, no, it's a holdout blaster. Sounded like a stun bolt, though. Okay. Well, it's a stun bolt on your shit. Witchcrafts. <laughs> <laughs> Intelligence crafts. Six and one for me. It doesn't really matter. Make do. Will that help me? No. What about that tool case that I got from the ship? Well, I'm not still carrying that. Never mind. Four. All right. You make serious progress on taking on removing the cockpit overrides. Okay. You're not there yet. Once again. What are you doing? Um, I'm uh, looking at the guy through the like porthole kind of thing and just giving him the like, nope, not happening kind of look. So, shaking my head in the negative. He looks kind of sad and. Uh, Behind him, a Bothan appears, and uh, they appear to be speaking. And he's like, shakes his head and sort of shrugs his shoulder. And uh, the cred stick is in his hand for one at one, like at one, and then it's not there in the second. Hmm. Another four. Like, does it appear that this guy like sleight of handed it, that the Bothan sleight of handed it, or that it was just a hologram all along? Wits composure. Wow. Uh, that would be five. Wow. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, he just sleight of handed it. Okay. Because if they were, if, if they had, if it had been a hologram the whole time, and I was able to verify that, then I might just <laughs> open the door at this point. Uh, uh, somebody with sleight of hand reminds me of some great moments in gaming where somebody's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna sleight of hand that giant weapon they're carrying." No. I'm just kidding. Oh, I just remembered. I didn't really have to listen to hear what kind of shot it was. His energy clip was discharged at the time, so the only person who had a pistol. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Yep. Wits composure, please. Just him? Yeah. My helmet help? Yes. God bless that helmet. <laughs> well, the bomb rack probably isn't usable right now. Unless it's like a limpet mine, this dispenser. In which case, yeah, we're in a lot of trouble. Five. That one are still attached. Right. A limpet mine, they can just attach and then detach and fly away. And then detonate it later. You got five, you said? Damn. All right. You're sitting here working on it, and you finally bypass it. Sure it. Controls come on. And you're like, ha ha. And you look out and you see a little thing floating away from their ship. It appears to be attached to a much bigger thing. Is it floating towards our ship? Yes. Well, I'm not seeing it. And it appears to be, well, you almost didn't see it. Like it's keeping close to their ship. Or can I can I have a guess of what it might be? By the size, could be a droid. Or was it attached to the much larger thing? With an appendage. Okay. What is the much larger thing? Remember, I understand in no explosive ordinance. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, it's an ion bomb. Just ion? That's cool, because I'm going to kill their engines here in a second. Uh, yeah, but if we can't move, then they can't move. <laughs> <laughs> then it becomes a long, drawn-out fight, and I'm well, not against actually, it. Well, actually, no. If their engines are destroyed, and ours are disabled by an ion blast, and theirs is disabled by the same ion blast, then eventually our systems will come back online. And theirs will not, because <laughs> their engines will not be coming back online. 
But either way, I don't know of anything about it. So, yeah. what are you doing? Based on the distance of the ion bomb and my knowledge of ion bombs, if I was to shoot it now, would we would we be caught in the blast? Yes. And so would they. Yes. Shoot their engine first, then shoot the bomb. Well, no, my other thought is to shoot the droid. Don't then, miss. Then the mine can't move. If I shoot the droid, it'll just start floating. But an object in motion stays in motion unless Moment. acted on by an outside force, which means that the direction that the droid was moving is where the bomb will keep floating. Yep. But we're still in the gravity well or just outside of it? No, you guys are you guys are still in the gravity well. You're in orbit. Yeah, I'm going to go with engines. It disappears. Under us? Well, it disappears out of your line of sight. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, engines are going down. Everything I got. Okay. This is a lot of dice. Just an FYI. I'm so glad he hasn't notified anybody what's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Be prepared. It's going to be a party here in a second. They're closing their side of the airlock. Yep. <laughs> Don't blow up my ship! <laughs> Stop poking holes in my ship. All right. yeah, I just got this thing back. I will kill all you when <laughs> I wake up. <laughs> if you wake up. <laughs> Mind you, an iron bump's going to shut off our life support that we're on also. Yeah, but we can fix that. All right. This is happening. Can somebody pull me up the damage stats for this gun that I'm about to fire? All right. Oh, let's see. Light turbo lasers. Uh, three dam three dice and plus six if it hits. Minus two AP. So it gives me three extra dice. It gives you three dice, and if it hits, it does plus six damage. Best part is they have no defense right now. Yep. Five. No tens. So that would be 11 damage with minus 2 AP. Directly to the engine. All right. And the shields can't stop it because... And I can't wait to see the chain reaction from the ship exploding that we're attached to. Yep. Well, he did just say that they closed their end. And so we at are least we won't get the backlash. Close. Or whatever they call it. Backflash. The firefighter kind of problem. Backdraft? Backdraft. That's oh. the word. <laughs> Eventually. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it in four. Okay. Prepare all subsystems. Well, this is gonna get <laughs> this is gonna get wacky. <laughs> yeah, it's a little too late to warn us about what's happening. Yeah. Will this wake us up? <laughs> well, on the bright side, you might never wake up. Oh, wait, that's not the answer. Yeah, you guys are gonna take. Six boxes of damage. We are? <laughs> On the ship, yeah. Okay. Does uh, that include these guys? Are you keeping track no. of that time? Okay. The ship is taking six boxes of damage. Oh, Raj. Here we go again. <laughs> uh, no, there's no ship for you to fire at. Oh, he completely annihilated it? Oh. Because <laughs> it's a civilian transport. Oh. That well, you just fired on with military-grade arm weapons. <laughs> at point-blank range. Well, oh. it was just all this like thing about them like uh, intercepting us and everything. I was just assuming that they were also a bounty hunter ship. <laughs> I guess not. See, this is why it's my ship. Cause it's freaking awesome. Uh, so with a durability of ten, that means we have four boxes left. Oh, the durability is ten. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Reroll. <laughs> no, then none of that damage gets through. All right. Boom. Then we're good. Awesome. Your upgraded armor is going to protect you. Woohoo! And, and that's why the spacer job really rocks when you have a ship. So now my thought here is since there's no, no one else or nothing commanding that droid anymore as it stops. Uh, no, it's probably uh, you're getting no sensor telemetry from the bridge because you had to disconnect yourself, and it's not in your line of sight. 
Well, then I'm going to radio. Um, um, think about this for a second. You have a droid on the side of our ship that their ship just exploded on. And the ion bomb hasn't gone off, amazingly enough, but there's probably nothing left of that droid. Which means we need to get the hell out of here. So I'm going to get on the radio and say, get the hell out of here. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Diva says so that? No. Gale. All right. Well, uh, now that I'm probably uh, blinking bright spots out of my eyes, yeah, I'll try to find my way back towards the cockpit and see who's still standing. Beaver is. Celebrating. Beaver is. Oh. Zidane is slumped in the chair, unconscious. I did exactly what my character set out to do. I blew up as much stuff as possible. <laughs> this is a this is a win for I'll my character. I'll go ahead and pick Zidane up and take him to his bunk. And lock him in it. No. Take his weapon away. His weapon's already taken away. You're unconscious, <laughs> unconscious, Mr. Metagamer. Sweet Christ on a cracker. This is her powering up the hyper, like hyperdrive, mm. running because it's a no. instant mill. No. Oh, is this the medicine test? Hmm? No. Let's see. She will now. You guys, do you guys have a Nava computer on here? Um. Let's see. I mean, we or ha yes. do you have a yeah, we one? have an advanced Navi computer. Okay, and that gives a plus one or two. Uh, I think the advanced is a plus two. Okay. But I didn't write that down. So yes, you get to the cockpit, all celebratory, as she finishes up her calculations to go to light speed, and uh, roll credits. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Oh. She's like, I'm take I'm just gonna I'm taking the vector back to where you guys came from. Maybe not the best idea. But you know, Viva can uh well, our pilot will be awake by then and Viva can give us new coordinates. Okay. And remember it was multiple jumps, so we're only going back to the last place that we jumped at. So yes. that's middle of nowhere, not back to the university. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's fine. I need to open up a file. You know what? As a wise man named Jane once said, I'll be in my bunk. My ship is awesome. Yes, you have a very nice ship. Now shut up. <laughs> my own bunk. Okay. Very good. Join us next time when we will conclude this adventure. And maybe the whole party will be conscious for that. Who knows? <laughs>